Hi everybody, my name is Talisha and this is my first YouTube video. Currently I am 25 weeks and two days pregnant. Today is August 30th, 2010. Myself and my husband were expecting a baby girl, Jay Marie Leah, as of December 11th, 2010. Um, we started our trying to conceive journey way back in April of 2008, in which we had a miscarriage, unfortunately. But God is good and we're pregnant again today. During the time of a two year span, it was horrible. Oh my gosh, anyone who's ever been through a miscarriage, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It is the worst thing that can probably ever happen. For me, I took it really hard. It took me pretty much a year and a half, maybe a little bit more to go ahead and just come to a place where I was okay with it. During that time, me and the hubby tried everything, and I mean everything, possible to get pregnant. I belong to a few forms, um, Baby Center, Baby Gaga, and Baby Zone, and there's women on there that tell you how to do this and that and everything else, and it was just it became a job, kind of, trying to get pregnant. It really did. But it's worth it. My baby's here baking in the oven. Um, let me see. She just kicked me. Um, <laughs> so, during that time, basically, again, we tried everything. We did tests and all that good stuff to try to see if anything works wrong. The doctor said, no, nothing's wrong. You guys are young. You have time. But I wanted answers and I wanted them now because whether I'm my age now or I'm 30 or 40, if something's wrong, it's wrong and it's going to be there and I need it fixed or I need to know so I could come to the realization that we weren't going to be able to have a baby. So the doctor put me on Clomid for about two months, but then we realized that my insurance wasn't going to be covering that. So she took me off. I was devastated. Down in the dumps, it sunk me to a new low. But I got this really cool book, which someone mentioned off of Baby Center. This book right here, it's called Prayers and Promises for a Supernatural Childbirth by Jackie Mize, I think it is, M-I-Z-E. It's really cool. If you're into the Lord and you're into faith, this is a great book. It renewed my faith, it restored it, it made it stronger, it gave me something else to hold on to because during the miscarriage I couldn't understand why God was punishing me I couldn't understand what I did I blamed myself and it was horrible it was a hard feeling to know that that happened but this little book right here awesome it really 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 helped me it gives you like um um prayers that you can pray to the Lord it teaches you how to pray it shows you inserts in the Bible which is Christian based I don't know if that's offends anyone or anything but um it's Christian based and it just tells you things because in it the Lord lets you know that basically you are to have a child he wants you to have children he doesn't want you to have miscarriages he doesn't want you to be um barren is what they call it so it was really awesome again I would suggest reading this if you've had a miscarriage or you're thinking about getting pregnant whatnot it's just helps you a lot okay so I went through that with our Clomid um, issue and then after it's not a really big book but once you get into it and if you go through your scriptures and everything then it's a lot longer than maybe I guess you could say so once I did that I went ahead and I found a specialist because I have a PPO so I can just pick any doctor that I want and I went ahead and I found a specialist who went ahead and prescribed me Clomid again so that <clears throat> it was cheaper. He didn't charge me. He, the only thing he charged me for was the um, Clomid, which the pharmacy charged me for that. And I had to pay out of pocket, of course, because my insurance doesn't cover that. Um, so with our second round of Clomid, we got pregnant. It was exciting. I was so nervous and I honestly was almost ready to give up. To be honest with you, we got pregnant in March. We had had our <clears throat> miscarriage um, in April. So I was like, if I don't make it by April, I'm just going to, you know, call it quits. If God has it in store for me, he'll do it. I don't need to continue to take these medicines, anything like that. But <clears throat> we ended up pregnant. Um, the first test that I took was a Dollar Tree test in which 
And with that, a lot of people are like, Dollar Tree, it's a dollar, it's not going to work, blah, blah, blah. But it does. It has the lowest um, detection for the hormone that comes positive on the test. And I had the faintest positive ever. I had to take it to my husband. I'm like, babe, 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 what does this say? What does this say? And he's like, negative. Just like the other thousand tests that you took. And I'm like, no, it's positive, baby, it's positive. He's like, no, just give it a few days and then you can take it. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll give it a few days. But <laughs> I ended up sneaking to our 24 hour Walmart before work. We have to go to work really early and we commute. So I snuck there before work, got an answer brand, um, held my urine because the first morning they say is the best. Held it, went ahead, potty down the sick, and it was positive. So, so excited. Um, my husband didn't believe me. He wanted me to text him a picture, but, and I did, but he still didn't believe me. He's like, that's someone else's test. You're just messing with me or whatever. But nope, it was positive. And here we are today, 25 weeks and two days pregnant. So still super excited. Um, so far, I took it really careful my first trimester not to do anything because I did not want to risk having another miscarriage. That was a hard thing, which it's not like there's anything that I could have done to prevent it or anything. I was careful when I was pregnant the first time. I don't drink, smoke, anything like that. And I did all that I could. Things happen, you know, but I just still couldn't help but blame myself. So one of the things that I did for this pregnancy was I got this fetal Doppler, the Angel Soft one. It's really cool, it starts working at about 12 weeks and um, you can hear the baby's heartbeat because that was one thing, how we found out that we had the miscarriage. Basically, we went to the doctor to hear the heartbeat, there was no heartbeat, found out I had a miscarriage. Um, and it was pretty devastating for me. Um, so that's helped me, we've done two 3D ultrasounds are pretty reasonable in our area, so we're, we've been blessed enough to do two. And then we're going to go for our third one in a few weeks, in which hopefully I'll learn the YouTube thing and I'll be able to post pictures for you guys. Um, some reading that I've been doing. Oh Baby, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. I've seen someone recommended this on their YouTube page, and so I went ahead and got it. It's a pretty cute little book. Um, my husband doesn't really like it. He wants to read Green Eggs and Ham to the baby. But, oh well, who cares? This is one for the baby. So, um, it's a book while, that you read while the baby's in your tummy. Because, you know, they can hear you and stuff by now. And then once it's out of your tummy, it should be able to kind of recognize the words and everything that you're reading. Um, I also got this baby journal for the baby so that she can look back on all of our memories and everything and um, basically comes with like little stencils and stuff or borders I'm sorry that you can put pictures with and everything and then it asks you like a million questions and you put pictures and everything all that good stuff so she'll be able to look at that when she gets big enough this book I like I've seen it at Barnes and Nobles, but I got it for free from my job. They have like a pregnancy program that I signed up for, and surprisingly, they sent me a book. So I've been reading this. It's like kind of like a weekly update, and it has like exercises you can do. It shows pictures and different stages of the baby, and I like it. It's pretty awesome. Um, again, I think I mentioned it. I'm not sure. I belong to Baby Center, Baby Gaga and baby zone so they all give me updates too i have them sent to my cell phone for my weekly updates on what's going on with my little princess and um everything just kind of goes together i don't know i'm just a overachiever i guess i want to know what's going on with my baby so i do all those things um recently the baby's been kicking a lot crazy how much she kicks I first I felt her first tiny tiny little quiver kicks whatever you want to call them July 15th and then no July 14th of <clears throat> obviously of 2010 and then just recently like maybe last week Wednesday Thursday she started kicking me like crazy and I can't believe how much she kicks and Saturday, my honey got to fill her, so that was pretty cool for him because he's very impatient. I don't know who else's husbands or boyfriends are impatient, but mine is impatient. He'll put his hand there for five seconds, and then that's it. And if she doesn't move, then he's done for it. But she was kicking like crazy the other day, and they're a lot stronger, so he can fill them now. So it's pretty cool. Um, 
Let's see. I don't know what else. Um, my pregnancy has been pretty easy, pretty laid back. Basically, no morning sickness, thank the Lord, even though I kind of wanted it just to know everything was okay with her, but I haven't had any morning sickness. The worst thing that's happened to me so far is <clears throat> I'm swelling. My feet are swelling, my hands are swelling, my face is already chunky, so I don't know if it's swelling or not. Plus, I look at myself every day, so I don't know. But, um... That's pretty much it. So I have to lay off salt and I love salt. I love salt and lemon. And if it can go on any dish, like it's there for me. But I can't do it anymore because I'm pregnant. So I have to limit it and I have to watch pretty much all my salt intake to try to help the swelling. But I still swell and it's hot as heck right now. So that's not helping too much either. So um, I guess I'll just close showing you my belly. see it that good here's the front view I have the really ugly dark line here here and my belly button is super like dark it looks disgusting but I guess it's part of pregnancy and then my side view Ooh, watch out it looks big huh <laughs> and then this side okay so until next time bye